Hey y'all, welcome to the second video of my channel. Today I want to share with you that one trick that changed everything for me and I. That one trick that enabled everything else. Whenever people see me doing things with Mia, they always come up with questions like, oh, how did you get Mia to hop on your shoulder like that? How did you get Mia used to riding in the bike with you? Oh, is that a cat? How is that you're hiking with a cat? How, how did you train that cat to, to walk on a leash? Hey. Look who came. So basically what I'm trying to do with my channel, it's normalize the fact that cats can go out with us. They can go outdoors, they can go on a kayak, they can go hiking. Just because cats are not dogs and they behave different than dogs and they think different than dogs, people tend to assume that cats cannot go outdoors, but that's not true. And this is what I'm trying to normalize in this channel. I'm So what you're trying to achieve is to do more with your cat and go outdoors and do all this fun stuff. In this channel, you're going to find both the adventures that me and I go on, as well as what tricks, what trainings, what stuff did we do to be able to get there. So hopefully after the trick that I'm going to tell you today, you're going to be able to go on adventures very soon. And I'm looking forward to know how that goes. So if you finally try it and go outdoors and have fun or not, just leave it in the comments. I would like to know more about it. Okay, before we start, we need to make sure that we have the basics right and we're going to be using clicker training a lot. So let me go very quickly and remind everyone what clicker training is. Clicker training is nothing more than positive reinforcement in combination with a clicker. And a clicker is nothing more than a noise maker. In case you don't know what a clicker is, a clicker looks like this. They're very cheap. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them in any pet store and they are the basics for classic conditioning training. Okay, but why the clicker? Why is the clicker important? Why don't I say like good girl or good boy? Well, the clicker is a tool that's going to allow us to mark that exact moment when our pet is doing that behavior that we want to reward. For instance, imagine that, wait, imagine. We are on YouTube. I can just show you. Up. Good girl. Okay, so you've seen it. If I say good girl, there are 20,000 things that our animal is doing or it's thinking about during that time. There is no way that our, our pet or our, our furry friend is going to know that when they are standing in two legs, what we are rewarding is the fact that they are not touching with the front paw in the surface anymore. They might think it's because they're looking us in the eyes. They might think it's because they just snipped something. Um, they grab their fingers, so how do we let them know what specific behavior is the one that we want? By clicking instantly in, in that moment where they do what we want them to do. She's sleeping right now, so I'm not gonna make the noise, but it does like click, 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 whatever. <laughs> If you've never heard about clicker training before, I highly encourage you to go and check out this video. It's in my channel. And in that video, you're going to find three very easy steps that will get you started with clicker training. For today, let's assume we all know what clicker training is. Our clickers are charged. Our pets understand what are we doing here every time we produce a noise. And let's get into it. That was a long intro. I think I still haven't shared with you what's that one trick that you should teach first. Yes, yes, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. Yeah, no, okay, <laughs> I'm stupid. I don't know how to be in front of a camera. That number one trick is finger targeting. What's finger targeting? Finger targeting is turning our fingers into a target. What we're going to try to achieve is to get our pet touch with their nose our finger. This is going to help us guide them. Make them hop into things. Put them on the carrier, put them on our bike. Make them come cuddle with us. 
get out of the counter, off the bed. And in order to help my mind and you that this video is not super messy, I'm going to try to separate this video in two big pieces. The first one is going to be mainly focused in the three steps that we need to follow in order to teach finger targeting. And the second one is going to be a few tricks that made my life a lot easier when teaching clicker training. Let's get started. We need treats. We're going to take the treat between our fingers, middle finger, thumb finger, to make a gesture. Our pets are going to end up identifying this gesture as come closer, touch with your nose my finger. How do we get there? So because we're placing the treat in between the middle finger and the thumb, and there's the other finger in between, our animals, our furry friends, are going to just go straight and touch with their nose this finger while they're trying to sniff what we have in the other two. In the same exact moment where our pets touch the index finger with their noses, we're going to click. We will have to repeat this about 20, 30 times, so be patient, just repeat it over and over again. Our furry friend already knows that as soon as our finger starts moving, they head there, they know that finger moving means click and click means food. We can proceed to remove that food from the finger, but we're going to just keep doing the same. If your furry friend is still not reacting, means that you haven't done that first step enough. So my recommendation is just keep doing it until they identify moving finger let me head there, let me touch it with my nose because I know that it's going to come a reward afterwards. If our furry friends are already understanding that, let's move to the second step. We remove the treat and we keep on playing. Just up and down, keep it simple, short distances, just keep them encouraged one treat at a time. The third step is the fun one, when you start being creative. You get that same movement, then you try to get them jump into stuff, hide into things, do longer distances, don't reward them immediately, let them chase your finger. And let them get used to this, I'm going to chase your finger because I understand that's what you want from me. And by doing that, you have achieves the way to get your pet go where you want them to be. If you're finding value in this video, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be uploading new videos every week with tips and tricks to help you get outdoors with your cats, because yes, cats can do that as well. Oh, my bonus tips at the very end of the video are these three. Don't use treats, you're scribbled. In the case that you want to use treats because your cat reacts better to them, make sure you cut them into smaller pieces. Buy a candy box, buy something smaller that makes it easy for you to dosify the treats. And the third one is make sure that you don't have your cats on a free feeding diet because then they're most likely not going to listen. And that's it for today. Make sure you're subscribing the channel because I'm going to be uploading new videos very soon with more tips and tricks. If you like the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. This really encourages me to keep producing new content and helping you all to get outdoors with your cats. Happy training.